Hello, it's Keith from Terry X. Uh, controversy on the suspension kit. I'd like to address um, some of the issues that may be um, that may arise, um, specifically the nitrogen pressure uh, in the shock when you install the the, the shock head space, seal head spacer. Um, look, when you displace the amount of oil for the width of the spacer, you also displace the piston by the same amount in the nitrogen chamber <clears throat> which will put more well reduce the space that the nitrogen is taking up therefore increasing the pressure slightly um, we've estimated that seven or eight mil which is the distance the piston displaces roughly equates to about 10 psi um, in the in the gas now i spoke to a few suspension guys um, reputable um, tuners that don't see this being in any way or form uh, an issue at all. Um, on the other hand, I've also um, heard that uh, some people think that it would make the shock harsh. Um, so I'm just going to lay the facts out as as I know them. So there's a couple of videos showing the pressure that it takes to push the shock in, where the nitrogen is displaced by the shock shaft, which is what it's there for. Um, one with the seal in, seal spacer in, and one without and the pressure is pretty much around about the same within you know five kilos of each other um, this suggests to me that there's really not a lot of difference now uh, KTM pressurized their nitrogen um, they have the piston standard specs are the pistons about 90 percent up the cylinder so sort of 10 percent from the top full of oil uh, and pressurized to 15 bar which is 150 psi or give or take um, uh, Race Tech themselves probably pressurise the cylinder to 175 and some other suspension tuners that I spoke to run to 200, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, I've also been told by uh, guys that rip these things apart all the time that um, standard KTM shocks come with the, pit, the reservoir piston in the, the nitrogen chamber. is sometimes not 90% towards the top, sometimes it's halfway, two, a third of the way uh, down from the top. There's really... Uh, it's, no real um, consistency from the factory so we need to believe that that doesn't really play that much of a part if it's an issue and you want to install this um, spacer you can always install the spacer and then release the nitrogen pressure and get it recharged to 150 175 whatever whatever you think or is um, the person recharging thinks is the right the right figure but to be honest i have not found that it causes any kind of issue or any kind of problem and obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion and I'm sure there's going to be a few um, but if you need your bike lowered and you 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 will far get far better benefit from being slightly lowered to the ground with a bit with the confidence that comes from that um, than you would do by feeling the extra five or ten kilos it takes to push the shock shaft into the shock um, believe me I run a bike like it and I can't tell the difference um, and I, I've been riding for years, so and I've had 15 or so KTM's, all with PDS's. And if there was a big difference in the, in the way that the shock behaved because of that, that I would be able to sit, to tell. Uh, I'm sure. Um, anyway, everyone can make their own decision, but I just thought I might address the issue um, because I'm sure that there'll be some discussion about it. Um, so anyway, thanks a lot.